For the first time in some weeks, Jeffrey has left his house and now he's looking for some women to speak to. Okay, there she is. I'm gonna do it. Jeffrey starts sprinting towards her. Jessica notices him charging at her and she starts to run away. <laughs> Why does no one talk to me? Adonis. Adonis sees the whole thing that just happened to Jeffrey. Let me ask you a question, young Jeffrey. Do you think you're attractive to women? Jeffrey stutters and then puts his head down. And then Adonis looks to his left and right and sees a whole generation of men who are lonely. This is a problem that's worth solving. There's multiple steps that you can take to turn up the attraction that you get from women. And if this was some kind of clickbait video, which wasn't really gonna help you, you know this clickbait, like number one, do 50 pushups in the morning. Like, I'd say something really clickbait to entertain you. But the first way to find out if you're attractive to women or literally even step zero is something that a lot of guys aren't going to understand. They're going to click away. But if you can take this seriously and literally listen to these words with your full attention, I promise this will change your life forever because it did for me. Because around 10, 12 years ago for me, age 13, 15, I was genuinely convinced that no girls would be attracted to me. I truly had this belief in my mind that I was literally ugly. You know, I wasn't like a really attractive guy, but I wasn't like totally ugly. I was in the UK and I had this belief that the girls there weren't attracted to brown guys. I kind of had this like, anti like brown anti muslim kind of mindset it's all i really saw on tv was like oh like the muslims are terrorists and look immigration's a problem so i always felt like bad for being brown skin i genuinely believed that no girls would be attracted to me truly and i know that there's a lot of guys who feel this way and one lucky day something just clicked in my mind when this singer went really viral in the uk and his name was zayn malik he's a singer for like one direction or something he's a he's a pretty attractive guy right this was back in like the facebook days so i don't know if you were like on social media back then but this was back in facebook literally 10 years ago when girls would share like just pictures of guys like, oh my god he's so hot and girls started to do this for Zayn Malik and I literally saw in front of my own eyes the girls that I had crushes on but never had the confidence to speak to because I was sure that they didn't like brown guys they were literally downloading and then uploading a photo of this Pakistani guy onto their Facebook page and just suddenly that one day that belief in my mind got destroyed and I realized that it wasn't being brown skinned that was holding me back so what was it a bunch of things that I had to fix I was addicted to porn at the time I was just playing video games and I genuinely had a look at my myself and thought, yeah, to be honest, if I was a girl, I probably wouldn't be attracted to this version of me. Like, I'd love if a girl was attracted to me and she played video games too and she just wanted to date a loser, but then I can't really blame her if she doesn't. It all started for me with these deep internal beliefs. And you can probably understand why I've gave you this like disclaimer just a few minutes ago that this isn't like a very attractive clickbait thing for us to talk about. I'd just be like, number one, make sure you wear a pants and then do the belt buckle like this. Yes, here's something that you can do right now. Huh. It goes deeper than that. I think for the majority of guys, they are held back, not by real world things, but simply by their beliefs. And of course we can understand that because the things that are happening in the dating scene these days, it's very cutthroat. And so of course that leads to negative thinking and negative beliefs in the minds of men around the world. And you've probably had these kinds of thoughts too, even if you've not wanted to consciously admit it. You're thinking about those videos that you've watched where some guys made like a profile on Tinder attending he's a woman and he's used pictures of like very unattractive obese women and they get 400 matches per day. And they literally get like really attractive, successful guys messaging them, being flirty. And you're thinking, how would this kind of woman, no offense, to her, but you know, we just gotta say it like this unattractive woman gets a hundred times more interest than I am. What's happening in the modern dating scene is leading to a lot of people with very negative beliefs about themselves. And if I can give you just one piece of advice in terms of dating, especially in terms of being a man and dating a woman and actually wanting to be the kind of guy that she like totally is addicted to, right? Because there's different kinds of dynamics in dating, isn't there? Sometimes the boyfriend's a bit of a chump and the girl kind of bosses him around, and sometimes the girl cheats on him. But then sometimes, just sometimes, you might have seen this or you maybe you don't even believe it. But sometimes there's like an absolute like Chad kind of guy where the girl is so totally submissive and addicted to him. And if you want to get to this kind of place, I've said a lot of times, you know, the most important thing is building an aesthetic body or maybe status or money or confidence. Well, all of those things are actually above the foundation. This is the absolute core part, the foundation. And guess what it is? It's your beliefs about yourself. Because, you know, if you think of that Chad guy who gets so many girls, you know, we can say it's, oh yeah, he gets more likes on his Tinder pictures because he's really attractive. Yeah, sure. But the reason why girls girls actually treat him nicely is because he believes that he deserves it. I'm telling you that this is the most important thing. If you want to find out if you're attractive to women, and also if you want to become more attractive to women, start to observe and improve the thoughts and beliefs that you have about your dating life. Sometimes you have to, in a delusional way, just trick yourself into thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really, really hot. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alpha male and girls really, really want me. I know that sounds so silly and I wouldn't say something like that, which is cringe, if it didn't work. But I promise you right now, the guys that these girls are actually really, really into 
I'm telling you, those guys are thinking this about themselves. Those guys, they know they're hot shit. And sometimes I see those guys and sometimes they're not even attractive. Sometimes they're genuinely like five out of 10, six out of 10. But the kind of aura that he has, the belief that he has, the kind of personality and identity that he has is absolutely irresistible. Imagine this like Chad dynamic. This guy is an ultimate Chad, right? But imagine he has a Jeffrey mind about himself. Imagine he looks really attractive. He gets a lot of Tinder matches, but imagine he was like really, really insecure. And imagine he's like really clingy and really like weird with the girl. You know, his mind is just messed up, but he's like physically attractive. Well, if he's physically attractive, he'll get as many matches on Tinder and likes on Instagram, right? But imagine he gets a girlfriend and imagine how he's going to navigate that relationship if his beliefs are all negative. Well, that relationship is going to be very, very toxic and negative and eventually probably end in heartbreak, isn't it? Even if he's a Chad, even if he's really, really attractive, this is like step zero. It's good mental health about yourself because honestly, no one wants to date someone who doesn't have good mental health. Think about that. Now, of course, someone might want to date someone who's really attractive and they don't have good mental health, but if you could just change that and improve someone's mental health and make them a little bit happier, pretty much every single person would say, yes about their partner for that. Of course, right? So then why are we walking around with such negative beliefs about ourselves in our mind and then wondering why people treat us in the same way that we believe? You know, this is getting a bit deep and weird to explain, but it seems so obvious that of course people treat us in a certain way and that's why we believe things about ourselves, right? But actually more and more it's becoming proven that it's actually the opposite way around. It's not that people see us and treat us in a certain way so we believe that thing about ourselves. It's actually that we believe something about ourselves and then people treat us in that way. And to prove this, well, you're treated different by different people, aren't you? Sometimes you go to a new place with so much more confidence because your belief about yourself has changed just maybe for an hour and people treat you that way, don't they? But then sometimes you've got the same beliefs when you're around the same people and then they treat you that way. If how people treat you can change based on where you are and how you feel, well then it probably is that your beliefs start the experience first and then people react to your beliefs. And of course it still works the other way around. 100% I'm not saying that how someone treats us is never going to change anything about us. Of course it is. But it's a lot more positive and helpful if we think about it first from our control of the world. Why don't we take some time today and really think a little bit more positive and think, okay, am I attractive to women? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yes I am. I am pretty attractive to women. Look at all these positive traits that I have about myself. I'm, I'm fairly in shape. I'm actually a pretty like good guy. And yeah, I know that I'm a work in progress, but that's actually kind of attractive too. So you start to pick up on all of these positive things about yourself and suddenly like you're actually sitting up straighter with a bigger smile, better eye contact, and that makes you more attractive. The truth is that women find anywhere from like 50 to 80% of men unattractive. So there's been studies done on dating apps and you know, they ask women, okay, what percentage of the profiles do you find attractive? And the answer is 20%. And you know what? The word they used wasn't attractive. It was actually average. Women rated 80% of men below average. Think about that. Women rated 80% of men below average. That doesn't mathematically work because below average should be 49%, right? But because the dating market is so skewed with, you know, everyone can date online. So we see more options. And then also this psychological sort of thing that's happening to women, especially with like, there's a lot of factors that essentially have shown women the best men of the entire world, which means that 80% of men they're seeing as below average because the best guy that a girl can get is no longer the guy in her classroom or her hometown, is it? There's a guy in a different country who's five times richer than all of her peers who's messaging her. If you're in like a normal job, like an office space job, there's a woman in there right now who's speaking to a guy who makes 10 times more income per year than any of the guys that she works with because he's in a different country right now. This means that the dating market is incredibly competitive. So competitive. And a lot of guys see this level of competition and just kind of like break down. I think this is not to be condescended, but I do think this is like a symptom of low testosterone. A lot of guys with low testosterone see how competitive the dating market is and then just think, oh no, like I, I don't want to compete. I'm just going to play video games and watch porn and maybe I'll consider getting like a flashlight or a doll or something. But if you relish this competition, so if you see how hard it is for the dating market, for love, for sex, for dating, and you want to run head first towards this competition with enough work, maybe two years, two years of focus of doing the right thing that will help you here, you will see incredible results. You know, this isn't some like clickbait lie because if it was, I'd tell you, yeah, yeah, just follow up with this program and then you, it, what, there's a, two days from now, let's go get you laid, bro. For most guys, it's gonna take about two years of hard work, sacrifice, and a lot of guys aren't willing to take that because they say the juice isn't worth the squeeze. I personally think it absolutely is. I think, well, I know by looking at research and investigations and studies that relationships, especially the romantic relationships that you have, your wife, the mother of your children, is literally one of the most important parts of your life. So I think, of course it's worth the effort, of course it is. To answer the question of the title of this video, are you attracted to women? It's as simple as just asking, how do women behave towards you? I usually heavily disagree with the black pillars, which is like an online community of guys who are very like hopeless. But there is one black pill video that I've watched, which is by a YouTuber called Wheat Waffles. And I really, really thought that this was a fantastic way. He said that no matter what another guy says about you, if you're attractive or not, or what he rated you, doesn't matter. You know if you are 
a sub five normie or chad based on how women react towards you. So, you know, some guy can rate me like a six out of 10, for example, this has happened before, but a bunch of these black pillars have rated me like a four out of 10, which I'm, I swear I'm higher than that, I promise. But they've rated me like a four out of 10, five out of 10, six out of 10. But what actually matters is not what another man says to you. What matters to see if you are attractive to women, if you are very unattractive, normal, or like very attractive, is to see just simply how do women treat you? Most guys will be somewhere in the normal range, which is that, yeah, they might over a couple of years have some level of interest from some girls. They might be, you know, every now and then texting a girl who's kind of reciprocating it, but sometimes she flakes. Sometimes she like doesn't want to meet them. They might end up getting into like some kind of relationship, but they have some kind of problems. And the girl in the relationship with them isn't even like totally devoted to them. Most guys are in that category, but you all know you're in like the Chad, like high tier category. When girls are not throwing themselves at you, that's like really high status. If you're like a rapper and girls are throwing their bra to you. But like from a lot of like high tier men, it's that a girl will walk past, look at you, proper smile. And essentially that's her way of like cold approaching you. So obviously it's still your job to go over and speak to her. It'll be easy on Tinder or Instagram to message a girl and maybe using those apps once a week or so, you'd meet a girl easily for like a date or something. And if you're on the way other end of that, it can feel very upsetting and lonely to then feel like what happens to these guys who are considered like quite unattractive, which is that they'll get zero matches a day on Tinder. They'll get no girl barely ever really smiling at them. And if they are smiling at them, it's kind of like, you know, just being polite instead of out of attraction. No matter which kind of group you're in, if you just take a moment to like look back through some memories and just consider how like women have treated you. Have they almost avoided you? Have they been a little bit indifferent, but maybe there are like, you know, the odd girl who seems to be kind of into you, but you know, she's not that attractive or anything like that. Or they've been like so obvious that girls have been into you and you just know for a fact you're in this top tier. Once you know that, you kind of know, okay, are you attractive to women or not? The answer's kind of simple. Honestly, a lot of guys are a little bit confused with this concept, but the answer's very simple. Once you get hit with some brutal truths, we've been told by so many people, the system, the matrix, that a woman's attraction is unclear. Oh, there's subtle signs to her attraction towards you. No. There was one post on the old red pill subreddit that changed my life forever and it was titled, you are not her top option. And maybe I'll make a whole video about this one post because it just, it was so common sense, but I kind of needed to hear it. And I'll just go very briefly because I think I'll make a, a whole video about this. And it just said, you are not her top option. When you're there neurotically checking your phone, WhatsApp messages to see, okay, she's not replied yet. She was online after I sent that message, but so she didn't click on the message. Why is she not replied? And you know, you're overthinking about if she's going to reply or not, or you're overthinking if she's going to come to the date or not. You've sent her the message like, oh, hey, excited to see you later at 7 p.m. You're going to come, right? And she's not replied just yet. You're getting a bit paranoid. You're not her top option. Because if you are her top option, if she is attracted to you, bro, trust me, you will know. I've even seen online, even in like the, the sort of pickup communities that, yeah, a woman's attraction is really subtle. Honestly, no. If she's into you, you will know. You don't need a video like this because people have told you that, oh yeah, yeah, you know, she might be into you, but she'll never show it. Trust me, bro. When she's into a guy, she shows it. Sometimes she'll message the guy first saying like, oh, hey, like, so uh, what are you doing tonight? Whatever conditioning, brainwashing that we've, propaganda that we've been through has led us to this moment where you need a video to just walk through like, oh yeah, like if she's into you, you'll see her attraction physically. She'll hold eye contact with you a lot more. She'll be nicer to you. She'll smile when you're around her. She'll touch you. Of course, those are symbols of her attraction towards you. And like, we've been told like, no, 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 that doesn't mean she's attracted to you actually. It, it, she could be attracted to you just in an invisible way. Just wait 10 more years and you'll find out. The guy who she's attracted to right now, she's laughing at his <laughs> joke that wasn't even funny and like touching his arm as she laughs. If she's doing that to you, she's probably maybe into you. If she's not doing that to you, she's probably not into you. I'm sorry if this hurts, but sometimes you need like a little bit of like a, a slap in the face of reality. Because honestly, when I was 15, 16, like I needed this. There I am double texting the same girl again. She's giving me one word replies and I'm still trying to think, yeah, yeah. Obviously, because she's texting me back, she really likes me, right? One little bonus thing I'll just give you. One of the things I've learned from like my experience with women, just because she texts you or Snapchats you or sends you DMs on Instagram, just because she does that does not actually mean that she's into you. It's quite harsh for me to say this, but there are actually a lot of women out there. Honestly, I think most women just like to get notifications on their phone. Honestly, most people, I think almost all people like to get notifications on their phone because, you know, it triggers like this dopamine thing inside of us and it feels good to see like, oh, we got lots of messages. Oh yes, I am worthy of love her. She likes getting texts on her phone. And so yeah, she'll reply to you and you'll be like, oh yeah, she replied. Oh, oh, she replied. Okay. It took her seven minutes to reply. So I'm going to reply in 14 minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in chat. Bro, she replies to everyone. Some slower than others, some faster than others. What I've seen, especially with a bit of the younger girls, I'm 25. So you know what I've seen with like 20 year olds or 18 year olds, 21 year olds is that they will reply to guys they're not even interested in. If you ask them, they'll say, oh yeah, well, we're just friends. And they'll just string them along essentially. You know, they'll speak and maybe that guy will invite her to do something and she'll say like, oh yeah, let's do it. And then the same day or you know, the, the day that they've organized to do something, the guy will text her like, hey, you still good for today? And she'll be like, oh no, sorry, I've got to do something. But like, oh, let's do Friday instead. And the guy's like, okay, you know, she flakes, but like Fridays, you know, she she said Friday, so that's good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see a 
you Friday. I'm gonna see you on Friday, guys. I'm gonna see you on Friday. And then Friday rolls around. Hey, hey, so you good for Friday at 6 p.m.? And she's like, oh my god, no, I've, I forgot about this thing. My dad died on the last Saturday. And he's like, okay, you know, fair enough. My dad died. Oh, hey, dad died, guys. My dad died, guys. So this Saturday, okay. And he's just getting stronger along, stronger along till they've reached the 60 day Snapchat streak. There was a picture, bro. This is red pill in my mouth. There was a picture. I took this girl's phone once, right? So we're sat in the back of the car at nighttime playing cards, right? <laughs> I took her phone and I remember she was on Snapchat and there was so many guys. I'm playing around with her, like wrestling her in the back of the car whilst we're playing cards and eventually I imagine you know how the back of the car looks right so you sit here and there's kind of like space between your legs to the front chair I kind of like throw her into that space and she's like stuck a bit and I've like pushed her down with my legs and I'm starting to like look at how many guys she's been in 40 day snapchat streaks 50 day snapchat streaks and I'm just thinking man like she's stringing along all these guys who genuinely think like they're so close to being in a relationship with her and maybe I shouldn't have done this to like hurt those guys feelings but they kind of needed to see this I didn't send anyone like a message or anything but I just took a picture and put it onto her snapchat story of her in the back of the car down like where your feet would normally be to like press down there with my foot on her head <laughs> with the picture like captioned like she's in time out and still when those guys saw that picture with the girl that they had a 40 day snapchat streak with with a brown like leg and a foot on her head pushing her down with like a funny caption saying she's in time out still kept on speaking to her developing feelings for her a lot of guys just are so delusional I imagine seeing like your crush post something like that and when she tells you oh you know it's just my friend and you're like okay it's just a friend <laughs> we weren't friends bro even if you don't want to be a degenerate you know this was like casual sex stuff so it's not good for you or anything but even if you don't want to be like a degenerate or anything like that the thing is you kind of want to be that guy on the other side of the phone like in my position of like being that guy who's got <laughs> you don't want to be the guy who's like, got his foot on her head and that's kind of disrespectful but you want to be that guy who's on the other side who she's meeting up without this 40 day snapchat streak journey that they've had together you want to be the guy who she's meeting up and actually being intimate with and getting closer with you do not want to be the guy on the other side of the screen waiting for her to reply and opening up a story a kind of like a late night thing of like wait what's happening here it's like oh man she's oh she's with a guy no no oh oh she said it's just friends oh okay okay when you're her top option you'll know when you're attractive to women you'll know if it isn't 100 clear to you then you're not and i know that sucks to hear and i know that that will hurt a lot of young men's feelings watching this but that pain that level of like disgust resentment annoyance that you feel right now can be used so productively to eventually not quickly but eventually get to that point where you are actually attractive to women and there's multiple things to do one analyze your beliefs but two be physically more attractive i have a 40 minute looks maxing guide on how to actually like literally physically look better and that's very important because as much as i like to talk about the psychological things the truth is how you physically look is going to determine how many matches you get on tinder how many dms gets open on instagram or how many like good pictures you can take and you get more likes and all this and yeah of course all of this is like online dating it's not good for you but this is the way that a lot of girls do kind of like look at you these days they look at you online even then if you look max you look better in person anyway so maybe you'll want to go watch that full guide let's listen to some words from adonis about this the average man lacks ambition drive and masculinity women simply aren't attracted to that men of old were strong dangerous and driven that is what women want in a man click and watch this video right now do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.